April 12, 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was launched into space. The Soviet Union had finally done it, put the first man into orbit. A few months before Gagarin's launch, I had seen a photograph of, of Vladimir Ilushin wearing space gear and referred to as a member of the cosmonaut group. It was therefore, in my view, no accident that Vladimir Ilushin would have been picked as the man for the job. It's UFO, it is Americans did not fly to the moon, it's Gagarin was not the first, it was Loch Ness, Bigfoot, all these stories are the same. The producers of this documentary were able to acquire a first-hand statement and accounting of an engineer who actually manned the Turn Island tracking station on those fateful days of April 1961. We will show proof positive that this engineer and his team did track both Vladimir Ilyushin's flight and Yuri Gagarin's flight. This is it, the proverbial smoking gun. Was Yuri Gagarin really the first man in space? Or did he live the life of a fraud and a lie? And what about his quite untimely and highly suspicious death? It was reported that during this so-called routine flight, the jet experienced engine failure, spiraled to the ground, and crashed. But uh, the accident the investigation report was secret, like all these accident investigation reports in the Soviet Union. But essentially, in a society that was built around secrets, the archives are, you know, the most important resource to be protected. Not necessarily to preserve the memory, but to preserve the fictions. When the KGB was uh, confronted with this, their response was, and I quote, it is clear that some people were adjusting the facts in order to protect their own positions, end quote. I mean, this is probably one of the biggest cover-ups and conspiracies in history. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, his real-life story and reports of his death have been falsified and suppressed. No one has ever dared question any of this until now.